Hello guys, welcome to my channel once again. Uh, today I'm going to make a video of uh, PUBG Mobile gaming on S21 Ultra device. Of course, I have a two years older S21 Ultra. Um, it's I think it's uh, one of the good looking Ultra device in uh, Samsung lineup, and I think it was the best. I think uh, this design was the best then compared to uh, this boxy, right? <laughs> I'm not a big fan of this boxy. This one is really comfortable and really good and let's check it out it has a samsung exynos 2100 exynos uh, chipset it was uh, uh, improved exynos uh, chipset so far in my opinion of course uh, i i use uh, s21 before it was a cool device and there was so many updates and many things going on and i'm gonna take uh, s21 pubg mobile gaming if uh, any improvements has been so far I'm not using any third-party application to turn off uh, game booster or game optimizing services or anything like that. It's just uh, as a neutral. I don't have any even downloaded game plugins or anything to tune this device. What we can do is uh, let's play some maybe let's play some arcade game and let's uh, check uh, the FPS situation. In, in the graphic settings, of course. Uh, it is still there is no 90 fps available the game is uh, locked into ultra setup in a balance sd sdr there's no sdr ultra sd also available everything at is it how it was there is no any particular improvement on uh, graphic availability so it was it's stick still there's only available smooth extreme there were no balance extreme available setting wise there is no improvement at all so there is no anything special going on now let's play a few games and let's find out how is the pubg mobile gaming situation of course i have a set up in a, a smooth extreme frame rate okay i think i have to set up many things pick up the neighbor So let's go another round. Oh fuck. I don't know why I feel like it's, uh, the improvement is really good. I, th I don't know why. Because I have, have been playing a long time ago. Uh, it wasn't that much smooth. I feel like it's uh, uh, so far it's very smooth. To be honest, I can play in a smooth extreme frame rate or 60 FPS continuously. I have been playing this game for so long time. I don't know. I feel a little bit wet to be honest. To be honest, it's uh, going really good. Uh, the temperature is not so high. Also, let's see the result. All right, all right. Nine minutes of playing game. The average FPS is uh, fifty-eight point five. Uh, of course, it is because I play the arcade game. It was a quick match, so I have to switch off, switch on between two games as uh, very quickly. So as you can see, there was uh, like uh, lots of fluctuation. In FPS, as it is because of uh, the switching of the game, right? Uh, from going from one game to another game, so it's uh, as you can see, the like lots of fluctuation uh, over the time. Uh, without it, I'm definitely it should be 60 FPS in in the entire game because I didn't feel any lag or any problem during the encounter with the the opponent. So definitely, it's a 
60 FPS at all. Of course, the CPU uses it as it uh, is normal. Maybe next next time I will compare it with the S23 Ultra and we'll see how it is, it is in comparison to a Snapdragon counterpart. Of course, uh, temperature, device temperature, there is no data because it's uh, external, so maybe it's uh, limited. Of course, it is around uh, 40 degrees Celsius of the temperature, so I think it's, uh, it's uh, normal. Of course, there is no information of GPU. Of course, the battery consumption for uh, 9 minute, 9 minute 33 seconds is about 4 watt. Of course, it's definitely is a little higher than in comparison to other devices. Maybe it's because of a um, 2 years older device or maybe it took... Uh, so, of course, it's a 2 years older device and of course, uh, there is uh, nothing going on. The graphic is limited as it is, how it was uh, before. Uh, there is no improvement and I think uh, in Exynos there will be no improvement at all but, the, but of course the game is more optimized than before really it, I think uh, still this device is, is still very good for gaming uh, for PUBG Mobile or anything like that but of course I don't think so in terms of Genshin Impact because Exynos device and Genshin Impact doesn't go well uh, I'm not too regular with the video and I understand about that but uh, what can I do? I'm so busy with other things. Yeah, yeah I will try to be more uh, regular. And of course, uh, that's it for today. Um, if you have a S21 device, it's a still solid device. There's nothing to upgrade. There is really, really minimum things to see or upgrade in the latest flagship devices. So I don't think so. You need to have a latest flagship device. It's still pretty, it's still good, still powerful. And that's it. Thank you for watching, I will catch you in the next.